One thing that can elevate your app to the next level are good animations, but I've always struggled with them. One, because they are very difficult to implement using code. And the reason for that is because you need to really take a look at the animation that you're trying to build and then convert that into code. But at the same time, there's also the difficulty of coming up with ideas for what good animations or transitions look like. I've showed you in previous videos on my channel, such as how to implement Lottie animations, that some of the hard work for building these cool animations and showing them can be abstracted away by using packages such as Lottie. But sometimes those are not the type of animations we want to implement. We do not want to show certain GIFs or images you can see or animations made by other people within our application. We want to take the user gracefully from one page to the next, or we want to divert their attention from a certain object on the screen to another one. And this is where the real challenge of developing good animation comes into. Because now you have to one, figure out how a good animation looks like, what are the certain parameters of that and what actually constitutes a good animation. But secondly, you also need to figure out all of the technical stuff as to how you're going to be implementing that. Recently, around six or seven months ago, I found this very cool package that's on pub.dev called animations. And as the name suggests, it does things related to animations. But the cool thing about this package is that it provides us high quality pre-built animations for Flutter that follow the material motion design scheme. And as you can see, they are absolutely stunning and they have a wide array of use cases that we can implement them for. So for example, if you want to divert the user's attention from a certain element on the page that you are showing them to a new screen, then you have an animation such as container transform. If you want to maybe take the user through an onboarding flow, you, you can use something such as the shared access transition. At the same time, we also have things such as fade throughs to implement very beautiful fade throughs to take the user, for example, from one page to the next, or this could be an excellent use case for when you're fetching information. And once you have that, gracefully display that to the user. And finally, we have the fade, classic old fade animation as well. So what I've done is actually just pulled down the code from the actual GitHub repo for this project, the example application that they provide. And I just want to show you what the power of this is. And then I'll show you another cool thing of an actual walkthrough step-by-step -step guide that you can actually take to actually learn about this package and understand the full capabilities of it. So let's actually take a look at all of the cool goodness that this package provides us. And just as a side note, links to all of the resources that I mentioned within this video, as well as the link to the source code can be found in the description below. So feel free to take a look at it if you're confused at any point. We can implement container-based transformations. And as you can see, they can help us when we want to transition from one page to the next, or maybe we we'll want to show the user some certain information and in a graceful manner. So as you can see, this is a context-aware animation, and that's one of the beauties of this. It understands where the user actually clicks on and what widget do we actually click on and how to transition from that widget to the other widget that we want to display, whether that's a dialogue, a page, whatever the case might be, and then gracefully transition between that. This kind of reminds me of the hero-based transitions that are in Flutter. Leave a comment down below if you know what hero-based transitions are. And if you want an actual tutorial on them, then also leave a comment down below and I'll try to create a video on that. Besides this, we also have shared access. So this is excellent, again, as I mentioned, for onboarding flows or for complicated forms that users need to fill, which are multiple steps, so you can easily implement them. And the cool thing about this is that you can do it on any axis. So we can do X-based axis um, scrolling. We can do Y-based scrolling, as you can see. We can also do it on the Z-axis, which kind of allows us to make the stack effect, um, which you could also achieve with fade transition, I think so. Besides this, we can do fade throughs. They are also excellent. So a good example of this that they actually show, which I didn't think about was actually using this animation when we use the bottom navigation bar to go from one page to another. So as you can see here, I'm looking at albums, then I can move to photos, then I can go to search and everything just looks great. And it looks like a well put together app, doesn't it? Just a small change can make your app look a million times better and give it the final touch that it needs to really captivate the user. So that's why I really like this package and I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. And then we have the fade animation as well. This is just the classic old fade animation. You could use it for a bunch of things. Two things that they show us in this actual demo is that you can use it to show models, which is cool, and you can discard them as well, and it's very graceful. And you can actually show certain elements or widgets, I should say, on the screen and then hide them as you wish. So this is also another great feature for using the fade scale transition. 
So besides this, you can play with this demo project. I'll leave a link down in the description below so where you can download this. But besides that, if you actually want to take a look and delve deep into this animations package and learn a lot about this, if you come to the documentation for this, you can actually come to the point where it says material motion for Flutter. And there's actually a code lab which you can go through, which um, somebody at Google has arranged for us, which is going to take you through a step-by-step -step process to actually build a very beautiful app using the material motion framework. So as you can see, we can come to introduction. It shows us what material motion is. So here it says that the material motion system for Flutter is a set of transition patterns within the animation package that can help users understand and navigate an app. And then you can see that you can go through setting up the Flutter SDK, downloading the actual starter code, getting familiar with the actual code. And then here's the cool part. You'll actually take this starter code that they give you and then actually implement some custom animations within it using the animation package. And they're going to show you everything that you need to know. So how to do container-based transformations. You can also take a look at shared Z-axis based transitions, fade through ones, as you can see. And at the end, you'll also be able to download the source code, show it to other people, share it with your friends and share it with potential employers or show it as a personal project that you've built. So I highly recommend that you actually take a look at the animations package that Flutter provides. I think it's an excellent package um, and I highly recommend that you also like it as well. This kind of gives the Flutter team incentive to keep making it better and better. And before I let you guys go, just let me know if you like these type of videos and if you're interested in content similar to this besides tutorial. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.